Okay, it's a beautiful gray day, about 50 degrees. This is the water meter in the front yard, about halfway to the street. This is the water meter. A lot of times they're kind of buried like that, and they are. Right here, what we're looking at, that's a cheater wheel, or a cheater paddle. It's actually a flow indicator. It's a very sensitive dial. If that's moving, potable water is moving into your home. So, go find the leak. If you can't see it, I mean, is, is it a commode running? Is it a dishwasher running? Do you have a leak someplace? This is the check valve for the lawn sprinkler system. Now, if this was built this morning, and it wasn't, then you would have a main shutoff valve to this check valve. And you don't have one, so there's that. But we have a room underneath it. We have gravel on the floor. Um, the handles, the handles are a little rusty. We've got that. I'm going to collect some things here, so that's going to be a little bit on the long side. Here in the flower bed next to the garage, those two pipes right there are your sewer, your main sewer cleanouts. There's others. And then this is the main water shutoff valve right here. And that's buried. It shouldn't be. It should be excavated and lined with gravel, like the lawn sprinkler. And you got a rusty handle like that. Do you think that's going to break off in your hand when you use it? I hope not. I'm not going to bet against you. Lawn sprinkler heads, they're not supposed to be closer to the structure than 12 inches. Oh, we're not through yet. We're moving along. The home faces north. This is the west side of the home. This is the closest lawn sprinkler, excuse me, closest faucet to the meter. And what we're looking for is between 40 and 80 PSI. And we have just a little more than 80. Let's let that sit here for a moment and let's circle back to it. We have a separate video for the water heater. This is the number two water heater, it's in the garage. This valve is not insulated and it does not have a care and use manual. So, got a longer one, explain all the goods and whatnot. This is the lawn sprinkler control box. And it was off, it was unplugged when I got here. So, we're going to run this through. It's going to be a completely different thing, but it's inside the garage on the north interior wall. We have operational instructions, but it's not labeled as far as the zones. The zones are not labeled on this. Now, an interesting thing about this is what I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning to watch my step. This is the gas coming into the house. So we want to pay attention to the furnace to make sure this is bonded. Because when this home was built, they didn't bond these real well. This is the downdraft vent hood for the kitchen cooktop. There's two, cook, uh, two uh, vent hoods in the kitchen. And that's the downdraft, and um, that shouldn't have cloth tape on it like that. Now it's outside, I get that. We're going to be looking for more cloth tape, though. Okay, this is the check valve. So you've basically got two check valves. This is a check valve for the water well. You have a water well right here. So, you've got a check valve for the water well. Um, it should be excavated. It should be lined with gravel. It should have a main, I'm supposing this is the main shutoff valve. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't inspect water wells. But I will say this, the conduit's broken right here. I think water can get in your electrics. I do. Water can get in your electrics right there. And then this tank, this holding tank or whatever, all that fiberglass is showing. I think it's seen better days. I kind of do. I kind of think it's been seeing better days. And I, uh, we'll just cut it off there. I was going to show you a gas valve on the patio that was capped off, but that's going to, you've already seen that in another video I'm about to make. <laughs>